Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Motorcycle Rewind and today we're back finally with the 1972 Honda CB350 Cafe Racer. Guys, we picked up this guy uh, with another 350 uh, in October of last year. And in December we went about deciding to do a 24 hour build. Yes, I said 24 hours, where I was going to take this motorcycle and get it, turn it into what it looks like now, from what it looked like before, and make it run and ride. We were going to do that all in 24 hours. Well, we didn't quite make it because the piston had a hole in it, which is something we didn't expect. But we finally got this thing finished, and this has been just a chore. And what I mean by that is that every step of the way it fought me it just like it, every step of the way I had a hole in the piston and get a new piston and as i'm putting it back together i drop a piece into the engine so we had to split the cases to get it all the way apart all of this stuff every little bit it was just a fight a fight just getting the most recently getting the brakes sorted out right uh, had a brake leak i couldn't find it i built a new master cylinder rebuilt the uh the calipers and then had a leak and just fighting with it. Then we get that sorted. I had an oil leak behind the tack, which come to find out my, I had put my gasket on uh, wrong way around. So I had to pull off that side and get it back on. But now runs rides, doesn't leak. Everything's there. Oh, we had to go back to the original stock um, gauges from what we had, we were trying to do first because, um, the single gauge I had that was a tack and uh, uh, electronic tack and a speedo. I didn't have a speedo uh, cable to fit it, so I just went with this, which worked out great. It's, it's not bad. We also have CL350 um, exhaust on it because we had those, which they look pretty good. GoPro, stop recording. So let's talk about the money we spent on this motorcycle. Uh, the Timu seat was $12 and 70 some odd cents. Uh, handlebars I already had. The tank I already had. Uh, I had to buy a gasket set for, for this and a piston. So that was another, probably let's pay, say the four, piston was 40 bucks from a buddy of mine. The uh, gasket set was another 25, 30 bucks. So let's say $100 so far. And then um, gaskets, um, little brake washers, those things, another six. So I'm probably in this bike. Paid $500 for the pair. Another, let's call it 200 bucks in, um, in the bike. So I'm probably 500 bucks into it. If, if I had to round up 250 for this bike and then the, the rest of it. Not too bad. Not too bad at all when you think about it. Exhaust I had, every, everything else. And then it was just paint. Oh, a battery. So yeah, that fits into the 200, 200 plus dollars. That's it, battery, nothing else I had to buy. Everything else I had, the carbs I already had, cleaned them, put them back on. These are the original coils on it. Everything else is, is there. Oh, the seat hoop, about 25 bucks. But again, I think that still fits me under about the $250 range is what I have in it. Not too bad, not a bad looking bike. And it runs. Let's go ahead and take it for a ride.
good. So guys, there you have it, our 24 hour build about seven months later. You don't know how happy I am to have this thing finished. Hopefully it'll be gone. It'll be out of my life in the next couple of days. It is for sale. It's going up and it's gonna to move to somebody else's house. It's not a bad looking little bike. Uh, I just, let me, how do I put this? Like I said before, it's not a bad looking bike. I just can't stand to look at it anymore. It was just everything from the, the very beginning, uh, did the 24 hour build and didn't make it. So it's like, dang it. And then go to finish building the engine then I have to do, it's just, it piled on and piled on and piled on. I pushed it in the corner, didn't want to look at it after I finished putting the engine back together. Then I put it back in the frame and it's just, I could never get the, the energy up to finish it after you know, after we started it. And then I'd work on it and then something, you know, it should have been finished, but then something would rear its head. And I uh, would just, then I'd just push in the corner and wouldn't look at it anymore. And then I finally said, you know, I need to free up bandwidth, the bandwidth in my head of um, unfinished kind of projects so I can move them on and then I can free up and be able to get to the stuff I really want to do. And having this guy done, one, it's not gonna take up this space anymore. And two, I get it out of my life. I don't have to think about it anymore. And it's kind of cool. I kind of like it. I, 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 like, I like the fact that we put it together with stuff that we had, or, or except for the seat, you know. But that seat fits really good for a little Timo $12.70 seat. Not too bad, it fits good with, I love the shape of it from back here, looking at up it, up the, uh, from the bottom. I love the shape of this seat and tank together. Just kind of worked, you know. I am not a, a custom motorcycle builder. I am a hack and this is what I hack together. So, but it was fun. Hopefully one day I will do a 24 hour challenge and I'll actually make it through the 24 hours with a completed project at the end. That would be ideal. So if you haven't watched the 24 hour challenge, please do yourself a favor, go back and watch that. It is a, uh, uh, a, like a, I'm down the rabbit hole of insanity because I didn't sleep for the 24 hours of just trying to put this thing together and it's me through the night, which is pretty crazy. But it was fun, it was fun, it was a fun idea, it was fun to get this thing done and it'll be even more fun to see it move on to somebody else's house. So guys, there you have it, our 24 hour, our, let me rephrase that, our eight month in 24 hour build is finally finished. So I wanna thank you for watching yet another episode of Motorcycle Rewind and do me a favor, like, tag, share, and follow us on Instagram at Motorcycle Rewind and go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks again guys and have a great day.